So starting off at the head of your yoga mat, positioning yourself in mountain pose, grounding here through the feet on the inhale, circle both hands up towards the sky, exhale forward fold from the hips dropping all the way down into Uttanasana, inhale Ardha Uttanasana, exhale forward fold back down, and stepping back with that right foot. So into low lunge to start you off with here, up onto the fingertips, inhaling for pass for Tanasa variation, straightening out that front leg, ground through the palms of the hands, lengthen the spine, straighten out the arms. Really press down through the big toes here and open up, left hand coming up towards the sky for revolved Trikonasana variation. Really open up the body out towards the side and gaze out towards the side or up towards the sky. Exhaling as the hands come down. Pivot the back heel. Warrior one. Lifting up. So I've got my hands in prayer position. You can have your hands apart if you want to. Shoulder width. Entirely up to you. Splitting the hands into warrior two. Keep that front thigh super firm. As well as the back one. But inner thigh must roll outwards. Now interlacing the fingers. Coming all the way down into forward fold. Just by the inside of that front thigh. Take the arms overhead and relax the head all the way down. Inhaling as you lift all the way up, coming in for another round, dropping all the way down. Breathe all the way through these. You can close your eyes if this helps, if you feel a little bit lightheaded. And one more time. Exhaling down, taking those arms as far as you can. Overhead, drop the head down. Inhaling as you lift all the way up. Nice shoulder opener there. Okay, so from warrior two, coming into side angle pose. You've got left palm by the inside of left foot, right hand coming up towards the sky. Taking that half bind, so it's either just the right arm that wraps around the waist, or you can take the full bind, left shoulder moving down by the inside of left thigh, grabbing onto those fingertips or wrists. So you're setting yourself up and the hips here for lizard lunge. Position that left palm by the outer edge of that left foot and pivot so you're on the back toes. Coming down onto the knee, playing around there, seeing if we can get a little bit lower. And then seeing if we can get that right elbow down onto the floor. Maybe the left arm wants to hug onto the left leg if things are feeling particularly tight already. Or you can play around with both elbows meeting the earth just underneath the shoulders, focus on your alignment as well. Take it nice and slow. So tucking the toes underneath, back knee and thigh lifting up off the floor. Now the thighs must re remain firm. Hug the core in and up off the ground. Push into that back heel so not all the weight should be just on the arms or that front leg. And you can drop that back knee down any point in time. Or you can stay with the knee lifted. Do what works for you. I'm dropping the head down. You don't want to be looking upwards when you're in lizard lunges, by the way. So to come out of that nice and slowly, just release, push back into a plank position. Chaturanga, coming forwards into cobra or upward facing dog. Twisting. So as you twist, gazing over the left shoulder, on the exhale, change it over towards the other side. Inhaling as you lift the body all the way up. Exhaling, bend and soften through the elbows. And one more time over onto the right when you're ready, dropping all the way down. Exhaling towards the back, twisting. Come all the way up. Hug that core in as you come into downward facing dog. And spread the fingertips out nice and wide. Right leg lifting up into downward dog split. Take that leg forwards, coming into low lunge. So right knee should just be above the right ankle. Up onto the fingertips, inhale. Pass with Tanasana variation. I'm straightening out the front leg, dropping my body, my torso over this front leg. Super intense stretch. You can bend and soften the front knee if you want to, if you're working injured here. Inhaling as you lift all the way up halfway. And then coming into that revolved Trikonasana variation. So left palm down, right hand up towards the sky. Twist again here from the waist. Good. Open up. Dropping all the way down. 
and slowly bend into that front knee looking forward so pivot the back heel down press into the little toes at the back warrior one so shoulders facing the front here bend into that front knee making those little adjustments on yourself opening up the hips the shoulders warrior two same hand same leg forward so that would be on your right hand side that is inner thigh rolling outwards let's open up these shoulders open up the chest interlace dropping all the way down forward fold take those arms as far as you can over the head and again inhaling tracing the fingertips down the buttocks exhaling coming into that forward fold you've got one more of these really use the core strength of the legs as well to lift yourself all the way up as well as dropping yourself all the way down Relax the face and the jaw muscles when you're doing these. Coming all the way up, nice job. Split the hands into warrior two. And get that lean forwards to extend the body. Right arm dropping down by the inside of right foot. And find that imaginary back wall behind you as you're in side angle pose. So you've got the left arm binding round the waist, catching onto the thigh, or full bind, elbow, sorry, elbow threading through there, catching onto the fingertips or the wrists roll the chest and heart open keep the legs super strong so looking downwards where i'm going i'm just releasing the hands planting them down pivoting on the back toes there testing the waters out on this side ready for your lizard lunges drop the back knee down this is a safer way to come into the pose so getting as much length as i can step by step left elbow touching the earth first right arm hugging over that right leg and you can pause it right here if you want to you can just stay in that position or if you want to both elbows can come down onto the floor you can interlace the fingers make sure that you press down not just through the elbows but through the forearms as well and you can take the back knee and thigh up off the floor whenever you're ready dropping the head down you don't want to be looking forwards or upwards in this that will aggravate the neck push into the back heel and I said that earlier so that you're not you know relying on the front part of your body to be taking all this weight some of the weight needs to be at the back too drop back knee and thigh down lift all the way up and step back so we're in plank here firm the thighs hug the front ribs inwards but hug the sides of the waist chaturanga down push from the toes lifting your heart coming up into cobra or upward facing dog and lift downward facing dog buttocks high i know the body might be a little bit achy <sighs> try to get the shoulders rolling away from the ears and jumping or stepping forwards and we're here in uttanasana forward fold please balance out the legs so the feet are parallel lift the buttocks high dropping the whole body down inhale lifting up ardha uttanasana exhaling forward fold take those shoulders away from the ears and when you're ready coming up into thunderbolt so as you bend the knees deep squat sort of bend here from the hips but also sink into them as well sinking into the heels you can reach the arms forwards or upwards um, depending on what feels good for your lower spine so we're coming into pigeon variation of thunderbolt i'm positioning the right ankle just on top of my left thigh soften here through the hips this might be enough of a balance as it is bend through that standing leg if you're leaning forwards just like i did make sure you keep the spine super long seeing if the fingertips want to touch the earth if they do, begin to straighten out that standing leg slowly. Take it all step by step. Palms find their way down just underneath the shoulders for support and finally drop the head. This is quite intense, so you can stay in Thunderbolt if you wish or you can stay in Pigeon Thunderbolt, entirely up to you. And I'm reversing the steps. Slowly but surely, lifting myself all the way up, using that core strength, bending through that standing leg. Release, inhale, lift up, back into Thunderbolt ready to take on the other side so I ground through my feet your base is so important especially on these standing poses without them you can forget the rest so find that balance 
smile, <laughs> relax that face, you're doing yoga. And left ankle on top of that thigh. So release here through the hips, leaning forwards, seeing if the fingertips want to touch the floor, straightening out that standing leg. So you can probably feel it all in the hips and in the glutes. I'm forward folding down now. You know, again, you can stay sort of another step back if you want to with the hands just staying in prayer, bending that standing leg. Forward folding is really intense, really hard. And I was going to say, you can also use a blocks if you want to, to so that you can place the hands on top if you need to elevate the floor to you. It makes it a bit easier. So I've just reversed the steps to come back up to standing. Inhale, lifting all the way up into Thunderbolt. You can feel it there in those thighs. And come back down into Mountain Pose when you're ready.